In this video we will know about thunderstorm and lightning strike which can kill any person, and why a sound is produced, when thundering occurs. Can we save ourselves from a lightning strike, can we store the electricity produced from it? So let's start. As we all know, in thunder and lightning first we see the light then we hear the sound. It is because of the speed of light faster than that of sound. So now we will understand why a lightning strike take place. During summer the water evaporates and move upwards in sky. As we all know after reaching every 165 meters in sky there is a decrease in 1 degree Celsius. So when this evaporate water reaches the sky it turns into small ice pieces. This ice piece is because of wind, collides with each other that causes friction. And friction results in production of static current. The positive charge of the static current moves upward and negative charge moves downward. Now, the negative charge starts to find the positive charge, and falls at a place where it finds the positive charge. When clouds come, eventually stormy winds comes too and when it blows above the ground, it has some friction with the grass, and it again leads to some formation of charge, the positive charge from it goes upwards and the negative charge is absorbed by ground. Now the negative charge from the clouds finds positive change in the ground and it eventually leads to a lightning strike when both of them meet. The volt that a thunder strike produces is about 100 megawatt. The current is about 10,000 ampere. For your better understanding want to say you that within 5 ampere our homes all appliances runs. The heat produced from it is 27,000 degrees Celsius. Which is 5 times hotter than the temperature of sun, can you imagine that? But its time is just 5 millisecond. To make you safe from lightning strike, a instrument named lightning rod is used it is made of copper, which is discovered by Benjamin Franklin. It is installed at top of house and it's connected with a wire in the ground. The ground acts as a conductor for bearing the electricity produced from a lightning strike. So now we will understand what if lightning strike happens on an aeroplane. If a lightning strike occurs on an aeroplane nothing will happen, now you can ask why. Because aeroplane is made of aluminum and the paint on it is made very synthetic. So whenever current fall on it it's spread apart, the insides of the aeroplane is hollow, and current always try to find a short way to travel, so eventually it will go down to earth after falling on an airplane. Hence you are safe in it. So now I will tell you about some precautions you must take during a lightning strike. Whenever a lightning strike occurs it's try to find a conductor as soon as possible, I will tell you where are the most chance of a lightning strike. Whenever lightning strike occurs the current gets attracted to your smartphone as your smartphone is connected to a tower. So, avoid talking outside on your smartphone during a lightning strike. Do not stand under a tree during rain or thundering as the current has a high chance of falling on it in order to reach the ground. About staying in open field as thunder always had a high chance to fall on it. But if you are in a field by chance, do not run sit down by maintaining a distance from others, as while running friction will occur, and it will attract the negative charge of current to fall on you, as you are already producing positive energy while running. Do not stay very close to a water body as water is a good conductor of electricity. Keep distance from a tower, although tower had earthing on it still a strike on a tower could be too powerful to harm you more or less. Do not open an umbrella, as the iron rod of it is downward and gets connected to earth, makes it a good conductor to fall. Most of the deaths from a lightning strike don't happen from a direct strike on an individual it happens because of state potential. Whenever current falls on a particular area it starts spreading on surrounding areas too this is called state potential. If you come within the area it will result in your death. A lightning strike on a person mostly affects his or her nervous system, brain. The beating of heart and lungs gets stopped and it eventually leads to the death of a person. But it is not like that every time persons die with any encounter with lighting. A disease named Lichtenberg happens the main symptoms of this disease is spot on body light tree root. But it only happens, if the current that had hit the person is very mild. The thunder and lightning occurs when clouds collides with each other. And we can categorize thunder and lightning in three types first is, intra-cloud lightning it happens when a small group of clouds produces a positive charge and a negative change and collides within itself. It is seen very rarely and don't produce any sound. 
Second is cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning when two clouds from opposite sides collides with each other, the sound produced from it is higher than intra-cloud lightning. Most of the time we observe it. Third is cloud-to-ground lightning it happens when a cloud's lightning strikes ground it produces an extreme sound we call this a thunder strike. Thanks for watching make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications.